Inertia is one of the most important forces in a golf swing. You create inertia, inertia when you try to move any mass. Changing a mass's direction or changing its speed creates the inertia. And the golf club has a mass, as do your arms. So when you start the downswing by rotating your hips and shoulders, you are creating inertia in the golf club. This will have the feeling of pulling the club down and around you. The advantage that inertia has is it holds the wrist angle and the elbow angle in the arm in the downswing without you actually having to consciously do anything. This does, however, mean that you have to turn your body fast enough to get enough inertia to basically cancel out the other forces, whether it be gravity or centrifugal forces, which are trying to pull the arms down and into the ground. This means that you want to be teaching yourself with help of the inertia drill and also the rip trainer to get your body moving fast enough towards a target. This is also one of the reasons that the golf professionals hit the golf ball not only far, but also straight. By keeping the inertia on the golf club, you are slowing down the club face rotation into the ball. A lot of golfers get too handsy and the club face opens and closes too quickly during their swing, making it very difficult to hit the golf ball straight. If your body stays in charge of the downswing and keeps the inertia and the speed of the body rotation up, then you will actually be pulling the club down with very little underarm rotation and very little club face rotation into the ball. The body is pulling the club back into the ball and then the inertia releases the arms and hands and club through the ball, generating the speed and the distance and the direction in the golf swing. As I turn into the ball, I'm trying to move as quickly as I can through the ball. And by doing this, I can generate speed and also get the golf ball straight. <laughs>